blink, and you'd miss it. It's the smallest, fastest, and most extreme planet in our solar system, a world where a single day lasts longer than a year and temperatures swing from molten hot to ice cold. This isn't science fiction. This is Mercury. And what lies beneath its scorched surface might just blow your mind. Imagine a world where the sun looms three times larger in the sky. Temperatures swing from scorching heat to freezing cold, and the landscape is dotted with ancient scars from cosmic collisions. Welcome to Mercury, the smallest and most enigmatic planet in our solar system. Mercury, named after the swift Roman messenger god, is the closest planet to the sun. Despite its proximity, it's not the hottest planet. That title belongs to Venus. But what makes Mercury truly fascinating is its extreme conditions and unique characteristics. Mercury is slightly larger than Earth's moon, making it the smallest planet in our solar system. It orbits the Sun every 88 Earth days, traveling at a speed of nearly 29 miles per second. However, its rotation is slow. It takes 59 Earth days to complete one full rotation on its axis. Mercury's lack of a substantial atmosphere leads to the most extreme temperature fluctuations in the solar system. Daytime temperatures can soar up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 430 degrees Celsius, while nighttime temperatures can plummet to negative 330 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 201 degrees Celsius, creating a temperature swing of over 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit, 600 degrees Celsius. Mercury's surface is heavily cratered, resembling Earth's moon. The largest impact basin, Caloris Planitia, spans about 1,550 kilometers in diameter. These craters are remnants of violent collisions from the early solar system. Recent studies suggest that deep within Mercury's mantle, under extreme pressure and temperature, carbon may crystallize into diamonds. This discovery hints at a 9 to 11 mile thick layer of diamonds beneath the planet's surface, offering a glimpse into Mercury's unique geological history. Mercury possesses a magnetic field, albeit weak, which is offset from its center. This magnetic field interacts with the solar wind, creating magnetic tornadoes that funnel charged particles down to the surface. Additionally, Mercury has a thin exosphere composed of atoms blasted off its surface by solar radiation. Mercury remained a mystery until NASA's Mariner 10 mission in the 1970s, which provided the first close-up images. Later, the Messenger spacecraft orbited Mercury from 2011 to 2015, revealing detailed information about its surface, magnetic field, and exosphere. While Mercury's extreme temperatures and lack of atmosphere make it inhospitable for life as we know it, scientists continue to study its unique conditions to understand the potential for life in extreme environments elsewhere in the universe. Mercury's proximity to the Sun and its unique characteristics provide valuable insights into planetary formation and the dynamics of our solar system. Studying Mercury helps scientists understand the processes that shaped not only our solar system, but also exoplanetary systems. Did you know? Mercury has no moons. Its day is longer than its year, and its surface is named after famous artists and musicians, including Dr. Seuss and Beethoven. Mercury may be small and distant, but its unique characteristics make it a fascinating subject of study. As we continue to explore our solar system, Mercury remains a key to unlocking the mysteries of planetary formation and evolution.
It takes about three to seven months to get to Mercury from Earth, depending on the spacecraft's trajectory and the specific method used. For example, Mariner 10 took about five months, while Messenger, which had to slow down to orbit, took six years. More advanced spacecraft with different propulsion systems might reach Mercury in less time, but this would also depend on the type of mission and the spacecraft's ability to slow down enough to be captured by Mercury's gravity. Could we live on Mercury? Short answer, no, not with current technology. Mercury might look cool, but it's definitely not built for human life. Here's why. First, the temperature swings are wild. During the day, the surface can hit a blistering 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 430 degrees Celsius, and at night, it drops to negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 180 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than a pizza oven, then colder than Antarctica, all in one day. Next, no atmosphere. Mercury has only a thin exosphere, not enough air to breathe, and no way to trap heat. So, you're stuck with those extreme temps and zero protection. Then there's the solar radiation. Mercury is super close to the sun and lacks a magnetic field, so it gets blasted by solar wind. Not great for human health. Oh, and no water. There's no real supply of liquid water, which is kind of a deal breaker for life as we know it. Could we theoretically build underground bases or high-tech habitats? Sure, in science fiction. But with today's tech, Living on Mercury just isn't possible. So no, we can't live on Mercury, at least not yet. And there you have it, Mercury, the tiniest planet with the biggest attitude, scorching hot, freezing cold, no air, and definitely not vacation friendly, unless you're a robot. If you thought Earth had wild weather, just wait till you land on Mercury, or better yet, don't. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic adventure. If you learned something new or just love space as much as we do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more out of this world content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a launch. Until next time, keep looking up. Thanks for watching.